Hello, hi, I'm Harvey. I'm a singer, you've probably not heard of me, you might have, but this is actually so cool because I'm a massive fan of the Luxury Home Show, so this is sick. Uh, this is my home, so come in. So uh, we are in my house. Before we got on with the tour, I've always wanted to say this. If you want more of an understanding of where we are in the house, I'm gonna pop up the floor plan here. This is so <laughs> sick. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be popped up somewhere. Cool, all right, let's do it. Okay, so this is my hallway. And then to our left, to your right, is my study. Um, and right now, it's kind of been converted into a music room for myself. Um, it's where the magic happens. Actually, that's the biggest lie I've ever told. I've never actually made any music in this room, but I bought all the equipment, so that kind of counts. Um, yeah, it's a really cool room. I, um, I sit on this chair and I pretend to make music and I watch a lot of uh, videos on my laptop, but this is a cool room. Um, and here are some of my plaques. I don't want to big myself up, but I mean, it feels weird. I feel like it's like a shrine. It's like my shrine room to myself, but um, it's still pretty cool. It's kind of cool to look back on achievements, I guess. So. Here are some of the gold discs from my music, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, this is, um, yeah, this is my studio, so let's move on. So here we are in my front room, the living room. I call it the cinema room because I think I'm bougie, but it's not really. Um, this is like the most comfortable sofa ever. For anyone that wants to know, because I'd want to know, this is from a place called Loaf Sofas. Um, yeah, spend a lot of time on here watching movies, watching at YouTube, watching the Luxury Home Show. Um, so that's great. This is also the most comfortable rug ever. Um, I normally actually sit on the floor. Um, I do a bit of both, um, but yeah. So this is the rug. Uh, over here are some paintings. Uh, this makes me feel like a bit of a geek, but this is actually, this is signed by Stan Lee, um, which is pretty cool. And, and I love Iron Man, so it seems fitting to have it in the cinema room. Um, but other than that, yeah, this is, uh, this is the lounge or the cinema room. How many times have I said cinema room? <laughs> So we are back in the entrance hall. Um, this is, I think you call this herringbone flooring that we are walking on, it's throughout the whole house. Um, cool little fact, I actually designed the whole house in Minecraft. Like kind of weird flex, but it's actually true, I actually did that. Um, this is the downstairs toilet. Um, yes, it's a toilet. I mean, this is about as fun as toilets get. Um, there's like marble like tile in here. All of this stuff as well is from a place called Lesso Stone. All like the fixtures and like the, Basin, which is this is cool. This is like a bit reminds me of just like a, a dustbin. But it's a cool one uh, And it was an expensive one <laughs> um, And this is the mirror which is really cool because it's like a touchscreen thing um, Makes you look pretty uh, and that is uh, the downstairs toilet And we are now in the kitchen living room uh, This kitchen Never gets used unfortunately um, I am NOT the best cook um, but it looks really nice and I do really appreciate it. Um, some of the really cool things are whatever this is called. What is it called? A, 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 a induction hob. There you go, see? Good. Um, it's really cool because all the smoke and everything gets sucked out from down here rather than having something up here, um, which is always nice. Uh, we've got a little plug thing here, which is always handy. Hot water tap. Very lucky to have this. I'm lazy. Don't want to put the kettle on. Just Double twist that, turn it on. Do you know what I'm going to show you? It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. Very thankful. Um, one cooler fridge. I'm not actually a big drinker. Again, it does look quite cool. So there we go. Uh, lots of storage here. We've got double oven, microwave oven. This saves my life when I do try and cook. Um, my time management is awful, but this is a warming drawer, um, which is really cool. Uh, uh, fridge, freezer, uh, and then down here is probably my favorite part of the kitchen. It's behind this like little secret cupboard thing. I feel like I'm Harry Potter. Here, here is where the coffee's made. Here's actually where the magic happens, you know, not the studio or the bedroom, never the bedroom. It's the, uh, it's, it's the coffee machine. I actually recently just bought this. I actually can't re recommend it enough. Um, so good, I love it. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the coffee station. Um, and then moving on over here. Before we go, Harvey, yeah. can you show us what's in your fridge? Oh, I knew you were gonna ask that. Oh God, okay, are you sure? 
Oh, Do you know what? Sure. Can I just say, I'm not here a lot. I, I, I travel and I'm, and I'm in London a lot, so I'm not really here. So I'm going to blame this on my brother. So whatever the state this is in, it's my brother's fault. Actually, I'm surprised it doesn't smell. Does it smell? No, that's right. It smells it's, okay. It's not bad. Uh, I don't actually know what's in here. So you've got some salads. I've got some salads. I've got uh, some butter. Uh, iron brew. I don't even drink. I don't even know who that is. Um, iron brew. And, uh, a leftover oh, coffee? And a coffee. Do you know what? To be fair, I'm not going to lie. This was on the side today and I didn't know where to put it because my bin's full. So I was like, I can't make it look dirty. So this is an empty cup put in my fridge just for you guys so it looks tidy and clean. FYI, this is never this tidy or clean, but um, I thought I'd uh, make it look good for you guys. This is the utility room for all of the utility needs. I think there are some people hiding in here. You come and say hi, come on and say hi. <laughs> say hi to the girls. They're, um, they're being quiet little mouses and hiding. Um, you guys should join us at some point in the tour. Yeah, Meet us upstairs, yeah? So like, <laughs> gonna shut the door. I actually feel bad. Uh, anyway. Hang on, Harvey. Meet us upstairs? Yeah, I, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna retract that statement. And then, yeah, this is the dining table. Um, I sit around here most of the time with all my friends and my family. Um, we play games on here and we eat food that I haven't cooked and it's great, it's really nice. Oh, you show us your uh, light settings if you've got oh, your phone in your pocket. Yeah, this is like my favorite part. I'm like a big lighting guy. Kind of one of the reasons why I said let's do a night tour um, was because I'm proud of my lighting setup. I take pride in that. So let me just change this light. What color do you want? Let's go. Purple. You want purple, yeah? I'll give you, is that, yeah, I'll give you purple. Yeah? Nice. Gosh, give me one more. Anything you want. Give me blue. Blue. That's looking good. Not bad, right? Not bad. Um, yeah, it's cool. I love my lighting, so that's not, that's not a bad feature. And then this is probably the most used part of my house. I'm so lucky to have what I have, um, and this is kind of where I spend most of my time. This is like a sectional sofa. Um, this TV is a Samsung frame TV for anyone that's interested. They're really, really cool. It kind of makes it look like it's a real picture frame, um, but it's not, whoa, um, it's, it's actually TV. Um, a few other cool things about uh, this room is my Miffy light. I actually didn't realize that it was a kid's light. I thought it was like kind of just one of those cool, like arty sculpture light things. And then uh, my, uh, my girlfriend's mum decided to get me loads of Miffy toys for Christmas. And I was like, thank you so much. And, I got, All right. and she was like, oh, it's a kid's toy. And I was like, oh, I knew that. Um, but yeah, that's cool. This is my Lego Porsche. Um, I love cars. And I've recently discovered that I love Lego. So yeah, this is really cool. Um, and then over here, we've got, actually before we go over here, my fireplace. This is probably the best thing about it. I'm gonna keep saying this. Uh, because I'm, I'm lucky, but this is one of the best parts of the house is the fireplace. It gets really hot. I'm currently sweating right now in this hoodie, but I'm <laughs> pretending I'm like, oh, it's so cold. It's really, really warm in here. Um, but it's really nice to have, especially when it's like winter time. Um, and then it's also encased in this marble, which is really cool. And then over here, um, it's kind of just my bits and bobs art. Got my vinyl player that I never played, but it looks cool. Um, I've got my granddad's guitar, which is really nice. I've actually got a picture of my granddad holding the guitar um, from back in like the olden days. <laughs> I don't even know when it day. was back in the day. So that's really cute and I love having that hung off my wall. Was your granddad an inspiration for you starting music? Definitely. Um, he's kind of always sung and played instruments all of his life. Um, and uh, he used to sing. Uh, I mean, I act like he's, <laughs> he's still alive, <laughs> but I keep, I keep saying like he used to do this. He's still with us, so it's great. Does um, he still sing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he comes around, he plays the guitar, and he sings, and uh, he's, he's just the best guy. Such a handsome granddad, we love him. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this was my front room, living room, kitchen area. Um, let's head on upstairs. Just another sunny day in Southern California. So coming upstairs, we are on the landing. It's quite a spacious landing. Uh, and then here is my brother's bedroom. So come on in. I did actually tidy it for him, so you're welcome, Elliot, for watching this. Um, nice size bedroom. Um, it's one of three upstairs, um, but yeah, they're good sizes. Here's his TV bed that he uses all the time. Um, here's a nice chair. Um, I think you call it boucle, pretty sure. Um, and actually these lights also, call it detail mats downstairs like ceiling lights, so that's quite cool. Um, yeah, nice size bedroom, little storage behind there. 
And let's move on to the other spare bedroom. Um, no one like inhabits this space, hence why it looks kind of like dead in here, I suppose. Um, but <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice bed. Um, there's not really much else I can say about it. It's a nice spare bedroom, I guess. Um, actually, the bed from, from Ikea, right? Good find, I'm not gonna lie. Good find, but um, apart from that, yeah. Nice, uh, nice spare bedroom. And then this is the family bathroom, I guess you could say. Um, I actually use this bathroom more than I use my own ensuite, which we'll get onto. Um, just because of the lights in here, it's uh, like great with like the Dulux, Dulux, Velux? No, Dulux is a paint company, Velux Vintage. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, I'm, I'm doing so good at this. Um, all of this stuff, like I said at the beginning, is uh, Lusso Stone stuff. So this is like a, a goldy kind of like hardware. Um, and these are soft clothes drawers and the toilet, which is great. Um, another thing, whilst we're here, I'll touch them, even these handles. These are kind of like, they're like got some good resistance to it, you know? Like they feel expensive, which is, you don't often find a new build. Um, Just show us again, I couldn't quite see it the first oh, time. Oh, sorry. Do we do it again, yeah? <laughs> oh, yeah, brilliant. Great. Um, but yeah, that was the family bathroom. And it also looks quite cool at night as well. Oh, like that. It's like a nice little glow. Get a candle on in there. So Harvey, as we're moving between the rooms, can you talk to us about the inspiration for the design of the home? Yeah, um, honestly, I feel like it was a combination of Pinterest and, uh, and YouTube videos. I watch house videos and architecture stuff and interior stuff all the time. So it's kind of like an amalgamation of all those kind of things um, and loads of different styles as well. Um, and here we are in my bedroom. Um, it's, a, it's a really nice space. Uh, I sleep here, so I feel like it needs to be. You spend like half your life in your bed. Um, so it's good that uh, it's comfortable and nice. So um, yeah, it's TV bed again, which is really, really cool. Um, I would try and go up and down on it, but um, it's currently not working, so. On the bed or the TV? On the TV, it just won't go up and down. It kind of does, it kind of, it kind of shakes your TV, so. Um, but I'm gonna get that sorted, don't worry. Um, but this is really cool, there's like lots of space to, I don't know, activities. activities. I don't know what you would do, but I mean, like there's a lot of space. Look at all this more space. So much, your robots in here. So many activities. Um, this chair is really, really cool. I found it during lockdown online and it was actually at a time where I couldn't go in and see anything or kind of put things together to make them feel cohesive in a space. So a lot of the things that I did and that I bought were stuff just online and just hoping and praying that it was cool. And I found this somewhere on Amazon and I was like hoping it wasn't a scam. I don't know why, I just I felt like certain things feel like a scam and I just felt like that was gonna be a scam. But it wasn't, it arrived and it's such cool quality. Um, and it reminds me of like the 70s, I think. A lot of actually the decor is kind of 70s-ish. Um, this chessboard's really cool. Um, it's like a marble onyx chessboard. Don't ask me how to play chess, because I haven't, haven't got a clue, but it looks cool. So yeah, it's kind of like a running theme in this house. It looks cool, but I don't know how to use it. Um, and then this is my bathroom. Um, again, nice size bathtub. Um, it's like this stone material, it's great. Um, and this is a nice sink. <laughs> um, again, marble. Fun fact, I've been here for two years now and uh, I still haven't got a mirror for my, for my ensuite bathroom. Probably, that's probably one of the reasons why I use the family bathroom because there's just like no mirror to get ready. Um, and then this is the shower. Where well, I shower, I guess kind of self-explanatory, but um, yeah, good shower, good pressure. Good pressure shower is like a must. Uh, it's got great pressure. And then walking through here, through the bedroom, uh, is my walking, uh, yeah, I guess I can call it a walking wardrobe because I'm walking in. Um, <laughs> it's really nice because it's all been lit with LEDs. That was like, again, one of my things for this house was lighting. I feel like lighting can change your mood and make you feel different things without getting too deep and like architectural. But um, it's true, it really is. Um, and it's just nice to have kind of that warm ambient glow. I uh, have that in all my spaces. Um, right now, the lights are kind of quite bright everywhere just so you guys can actually see what's going on in my house. But normally, it's a lot darker um, and it's really, really calming. But yeah, this is my walk-in wardrobe, which is great. Some of these clothes are awful, so don't look. I don't long, no longer wear them, but yeah, um, it's cool. It's cool. What about before we leave, show us some of your favorite pieces or anything actually, memorable. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna show you some of the most shocking pieces. You'll like this. Um, <laughs> So, 
right here we have this fun still got the tag in it this fun whatever i can't even swear but on this show but whatever this is um it's like a red i don't even know a red puffer jacket but there's a reason why i've kept it uh when i did one of my first ever music videos back in like 2016 2017 maybe i wish i could say older than that but it's not it's 2017 i did a music video in mexico city um and i wore this in the heat of Mexico City in the summer, wow. don't ask why. That's how cool I thought this jacket was. I was like, no, I'm gonna rock this in the heat because I like how cool <laughs> I look. Um, but I've kept it for like mem memory reasons. Yeah. Um, and there's a couple of suits in here that I've worn to some cool events and a couple of cool jackets and stuff. So yeah, it's a nice space. It's nice to have a walk-in wardrobe, I guess. Very lucky. And now we shall move on to the garden. We're now in my garden, but before I show you around, Matt, Get to here now. So we have a game. I'm about to absolutely mess you up. Before we start, do you want your Oriental Bomber jacket on? Oh, good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, <laughs> brilliant. Thank you very much. All right. right, here we go. You ready? Let's get it, yeah. Oh, it's right, it's right. Don't worry. It's, 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 one more go. Oh, one a more go. serve. Ready? Oh. oh, do you know what? So close. Do you know what? We'll Best do of three. Best of three. One more time, one more time, really. If you can return the serve, then... This is mugging me off, this is. You've won, really? There you go, come on. Ah, oh, oh. do you know what? Not bad, you're actually not bad. You're not, you're not no, bad. I think that was terrible, let's be honest. So far, I can no, practice. No, no, listen, you're all right. I've, I've seen worse, I've seen right. worse. Show us that building. Yeah, okay, cool. So here we are um, in my garden. This was done, finished, completed about two weeks ago. Um, so that's kind of like the, new, the newest addition of my house. I love it, it's really, really cool. Um, I'll take you over here first. Uh, this is my courtyard I guess um, this summer I went to Greece and I saw so many like olive trees and I think that they make me feel so summery even though we're now coming into like winter of course that was like the worst summer ever but um, I love this olive tree and again common theme the lighting um, it just looks really cool makes you feel like I'm in like a, a beach club you know so that's the uh, kind of bench area there's some sun lounges if you want to do some moon bathing which is great. Um, and this is the building. Again, lots of lighting, lots of LEDs. Um, come in. Welcome to the games room, the bar, I guess you could say. Um, this is such a nice space to have. Um, me and my brother come in here all the time. We play pool. I'm great at table tennis. I'm shocking at pool. Um, but we use this. This bar is amazing. Um, we sit at it and I try and drink, I guess. I'm not a great drinker. This is marble, uh, and this is like a wood veneer, if anyone's interested. Um, and you can kind of put these panels anywhere. I decided to put it around the bar, and it looks really cool. Another thing I love that I found on the internet was this um, kind of like LED painting, I guess you'd call it. Um, I think it was from a place called Loc Locomotive. Oh, so somewhere. If you type that in, you'll find it, I'm sure. Um, but it's really cool, and it makes a space of really nice and then we've got this big tv you can't really miss it should we turn it on okay this was actually originally in my mum and dad's uh front room and then i just stole it literally just said can i please have that tv and i was like okay so thanks mum and dad another cool feature about this room uh is my pac-man machine um yeah i'm not great but again, it looks cool. And do you know what? Anyone that comes into this room, you've got the bar, you've got the pool table, you've got the, you know, the drinks. Everyone just goes, oh yeah, that's cool. Oh my God, Pac-Man machine, what? And they just sit here with their back to everything, all the hard work that I've done, and they just sit here and do that. But um, it's really cool, I love it. And then last thing is this bar cart, which seems weird to have when I've got like a whole bar over there. Um, but oh. yeah, exactly. So, you know, if you can't be bothered to get up and just walk a couple of steps to the bar, we can um, drag this along for you. Um, Give us a pool break, Harvey, before we leave. You want a pool Let's break? Oh, no. You now I'm under pressure. Okay. Here we go. This be the best pool break you've ever seen. Oh, and he got one in. I've never done that before. I've never done that. Not in a break. Come on. Another cool feature about this uh, outbuilding is if I can open it. God. So smooth. Oh my God, am I gonna break the door? Okay. So, oh, just gonna. 
Just going to smack it into the, um, into the sun lounges. Don't worry about that. Oh, the moon lounges. This opens out to the, um, the seating area, which is really nice. And the ones behind you also open out. Do you want to, do you want, you guys want to do it? Oh, you're hiding there. Come on. Oh, come on, come on. Taking over. <laughs> What else can you say? Come on, let um, me... This is the garden with yeah. the lawn. <laughs> yeah. Anything else? Um, you take over okay, now. Okay, there's a... Oh, shit. Oh, that, oh, that I touched it. That went on. You actually, you actually beat me. You actually beat me. Yeah, VAR. So this is it. This is where we end my tour on the Luxury Home Show. It's been so cool doing this. Honestly, I watch every single one of the videos that are on this channel. So this is really cool. Thought I'd end it on a shot of my house at night. I think I prefer my house at night. Um, hence why we did this tour in the evening. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. I know a lot of you guys watch the video that aren't subscribed. Very naughty of you. Um, but yeah, make sure you click and do all the fun stuff in the, in the bio or what's it underneath the video, however you say it. Go and do all that stuff and I'll see you another time. Maybe in another house, who knows? But anyway, go away. I'm going to enjoy my Friday night. Bye. Good seeing you.